Welcome to World War II Online Tutorials, Level Bombing with the Vickers Wellington. So you're going to want to set yourself up a waypoint at the target. You can click on your map and go to the drop down and select target. That'll take you to where your mission is, your target mission. You're going to zoom in on the map and you'll notice that uh, the, this is a factory right here. It's factory number 14. And if you take a line from corner to corner, going either directions, that they will cross right here at the center, which is on the middle of this very third middle uh, factory building. So that's where you're going to want to set your waypoint. That way, that's the center. And if you are anywhere close to being lined up on that waypoint, then uh, wherever you drop the bombs, as long as you're along that factory wall, whether you're just outside the wall or obviously within the wall, then you'll do damage to the factory. Also, when you type in the information about the factory, factory 14, uh, always put in the altitude. That way, if anybody's coming on to the mission afterwards, they can look and see, oh, okay, this factory is at this altitude, and you can subtract that altitude from your uh so you can subtract the number of feet above sea level from your bomb site altitude and then therefore uh, the, the bomb site will think that you're bombing at sea level. And you can do the same for each of the factories. Uh, some factories in some cities are not at the exact same altitude as the city. So you have to be att pay attention to that, particularly along the coast. One, uh, the factory might be at sea level or seven feet above sea level. And the other factories, the other two factories, uh, like this is in Whitstable, uh, can be at um, uh, like 40, 40 meters high. And keep in mind that you only have 10 characters that you can type in this uh, description area. So you have to be creative. Also, if you're giving a description of something for a waypoint, for bombing or whatever, you have to make sure that you don't use the same description as the last mark that you say, placed. Like if you're marking a, um, F a FMS or a tank using a waypoint so that you can see as you're drop dropping a bomb on it. If you use the same verbiage, then uh, it will delete the one previously because they, they're all exactly the same. So you have to make each one a slightly different. Once you've set up your waypoints for your different factories, now it's time to do some bombing. So in this case, we're going to be bombing factory number 14. I'm going to assume that you've got learned how to fly the plane, so I'm not going to go through any of that stuff. So essentially, um, you're going to get yourself up to altitude before you get to your target. Right now, we're headed uh, across uh, the ocean, which of course would uh, light up any of the grids. Uh, if any if the enemy are looking, they might try to intercept. So you got to try and get up to your altitudes while you're still over your own territory if you can. That way you're not going to show up on the map. So at this point, I would be uh, showing on the enemy map. And therefore, uh, the, a yellow grid would be here and they could try to intercept. And if you hear a little bit of talking in the background, that's because I'm, I'm running two audio tracks at the same time my voiceover and the game sound. The main thing you want to remember is if you're above a factory, you want to be above 14,800 feet because that's how high the factory guns can shoot. And uh, so I try to shoot for at least 15,000 or above. So I have a elevator trim of at about 48%. It doesn't have to be exact. It's just an upwards trim so that the plane will climb on its own. And once you've built a little air speed up, uh, you can also do some kip ups, you know, pull back, pull hard, uh, gain some altitude real quick and level off before you lower too much in your airspeed. As can be seen by the altimeter going up rapidly. And of course, the variometer was at hit pegged at 40 feet per second. And actually, I was probably climbing faster than that. And right here, I'm at 13,400 feet. As seen by the big hand on the four, the little hand on the three, and the tiny skinny hand is on the one. And I'm generally shooting to get above 15,000 so that I'm uh, safe from the factories. And I want to do this long before I get to the factories so that I'm not... From time to time, I'll level off, set the autopilot, and get the speed up, and then I'll turn the autopilot off and then do a quick climb. Um, maybe not so steep because the higher the altitude, you don't want to climb too steep because you'll stall it. And uh, so do a little more gradual, but still uh, do it in steps. 
from time to time you want to make sure you check your map so that you're not too far off course while you're doing all this climbing and now that i'm at a fairly high altitude i want to do my climbing at a much lower rate so that i don't stall the plane and uh, keep things under control so i've just reached 15,000 feet and then uh, we uh essentially getting making sure that i get things lined up with the target i'll show you how we do that in just a moment so now i'm going to try and get things lined up with the factory and the uh, easiest way to do that is, of course, is you've made your factory mark, attack mark, uh, or target mark as active, which gives you the little green arrow on your map. And you'll want to be trying to line that up with the uh, mark that is center for the airplane's direction. Make sure when you're lining this stuff up that you have your track IR off, turned off if you have track IR. And if you don't have track IR, you want to make sure you're not looking at the instrument view or looking at their, the um, off to the side uh, from different views. So from your pilot, you want to have this pilot going straight ahead, not in this particular view here. Because any of these instrument views, whether you're in the bombardier's position or the pilot's position, will have the head slightly turned to the side. Uh, and in the bombardier's position, he'll be turning 90 degrees to the left. So you want to make sure that you're facing straight ahead, head up. You will then be looking at the map while your head is up and looking straight ahead. And you will also be making sure that you get the arrow, little green arrow pointed dead center between the black and the white of the reticle, the little round circle that's on the map. But while I'm trying to get this lined up, I'll be turning my autopilot on and off. And once I do get it lined up as best I can, I will then hit my autopilot and try to hopefully keep it there the whole time. But from time to time, you will have to do some adjustments. Like right there, I overcorrected. So uh, the, the, when you're at these really high altitudes, the plane handle a little bit on the, the squirrely side. There's a lot of maneuvers. So you've got to be real careful about how you handle the maneuvering. And right here, I'm using this little notch area on the dash so that I can line up the waypoint visually from the pilot's point of view so that I can get a little bit closer, then go into the map and do my adjustment. You'll have to do this several times in order to get it lined up just right. Once you do, you'll be able to stay pretty much on target with that, but you still have to check from time to time to make sure that uh, it hasn't uh, gone one direction or the other because it will and make sure that your pilot's head is not looking at the instrument view when you click on the map you've got to have your head up in order to make sure that you're looking straight ahead instrument view your head is always cocked to the side just like this view right here from the bombardier if i were to go into the map my i'm actually off to the slightly to the an angle to the side so if I'm going to be in the bombardier's position and I want to look at the map, make sure that it's right. Because you can see right there it's off. you got to go into the bomb site. So you zoom into the bomb site and then that way your head and the bomb site will be lined up. Otherwise, you're, you're way off. As you can see, there we are lined up. And if I uh, have my head outside, or in the pilot was also, when I was looking out the window, was lined up. But when I took a look at the instruments, it's off just a little. So you got to make sure your head is up. So that will probably be your number one thing that will throw you off on a bombing run. Also, both the pilot and the bombardier can operate the bomb bay doors by pressing the letter B. And as long as the pointy tips of the handles are tipped upwards, then you know the bomb bay is open. Two at the top of your keyboard will take you to the bombardier. And zero on your number pad will give you the zoom in of this particular instrument. The only portion of this that you're going to be interested in is the airspeed indicator. So this box that I have placed down here in the bottom corner is actually the same box that the pilot uses for his parameters on this airplane using the tilde key to bring it up. So if you have it up for the pilot, it'll be up for the bombardier. And remember, left alt shift will also let you grab boxes and move them around. Adjustments to the bomb side are your page up, page down, home and end. That will do your altitude and your speed. Your altitude is set here and the speed is set by the IAS or indicated airspeed, not the true airspeed. Currently I am 16,200 above the target so I'm going to subtract about between 20 and 30 feet off because I know that that city's slightly above sea level and I'm going to be setting the airspeed according to our instrument here of 190. 
Now the altimeter is very difficult to adjust. Uh, it jumps way above and way below. So what you end up doing, you have to just kind of get it as close as you can because um, it, the instrument is just too touchy. And again, you set based on your altitude minus the altitude of the city. What I'm showing below is uh, the factories that are in the big city and some coastal batteries will actually shoot at you. So you uh, got to make sure you're above that 15,000 feet. Double check my alignment and double check my altitude so that they make sure that the bomb site and everything still matches. Alignment is still good. And double checking the speed as well. If you're multi-crewing, the pilot has to give the altitude information to the bombardier, but the bombardiers uh, can see the indicated airspeed on the instrument provided. While making an adjustment, accidentally kicked off the autopilot, so that changed the altitude, so therefore have to give that new corrected altitude to the bombardier. Getting close to the target, so now we have to make sure that we have everything all lined up. We're uh, about 25 kilometers away. So a little bit of time, but you want to still want to keep double checking, make sure that everything's all lined up. And uh, so you have to play with the map just a little bit, zooming in, zooming out uh, to get the arrows to line up properly. And then also we want you to see that uh, when you're at the factory, that it's dead center is where that waypoint is. And if you have the map zoomed way out as it comes across like a 25 kilometer range, it will cross over that uh, target point. Um, in some cases, you, you don't have time to get it lined up just right. So um, that's why you, you zoom in on the map, get it lined up here and make sure that it, uh, it hasn't varied much. As you set the target from a long ways out uh, and, and then you get closer, because as you come closer, there's going to be a slight variance in the um, way that the map was aligned. So you're still going to have to do some adjustments, generally just before uh, the target is reached. So that's why you got to keep looking. And of course, the bombardier has to double check his uh, speed and adjust it because it's gone up to uh, 195 instead of 185. As I get closer to the target, I zoom in and check the alignment, and so far it's okay. Um, it's gone off to the site just a little bit, um, but you'll find that as the closer you get, the more that is going to begin to change a little, so we got to be real careful. So right now, I'm going to take, I just took off the autopilot and readjust it ever so slightly. Double check that airspeed uh, because I did make an adjustment to the course and also the altimeter. I cut out several portions of the video here just because I was uh, just double checking, making sure everything's lined up, double checking on the altimeter, checking on the speed, and I kept doing that over and over until I reached the target. Uh, so I cut a, a little bit of that out because uh, you don't need to see that. Again, double checking, making sure I'm all lined up. The bombardier double checks his airspeed. It's now um, 198 to 200, so I adjust it to 200. We're now on the final approach to the target, so we gotta make sure that everything's lined up. I'm using the little mini map up above. That looks like it's pretty good, the little green arrow. Now that we're as close as we are to the uh, factory target, um, the adjustment on the uh, arrow is going to, to begin to vary just a little bit. <clears throat> the closer we get, the greater it does. Now I'm gonna generally pretty much glue myself to the bomb site because we're coming up on the target i can see the airfield to the west of the city i noticed up above that uh, we're still pretty much lined up on that little green arrow on the mini map so i should be able to see the factory fairly shortly as it comes up. and as the clouds begin to clear right here i can just see the factory and i can see that we're just a little off center on our target however that's the reason why we put that target in the center of the factory so that uh, we'll still get our bombs within you know striking distance so now we're going to be coming up we're going to be dropping the bombs right here because that was the outer wall of the factory and i hit all the bombs as fast as i can drop 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 and then we get the wait to see because it takes a little while for the eggs to get down there i'm going to slip that clip back in real quick and you'll note that the autopilot kicked off just as soon as I dropped all those eggs because of the difference in the weight. 
Uh, so it the, the plane's the autopilot is no longer functioning at the moment. So to check the, the status of the factory, I can click on the city, the factory then pops up. I can type in, I can hit enter on the chat box and type in dot FAC or period FAC and then enter. And that will give me all of the factories, both Allied and Axis, listing numbers. But I don't want to look through all of that. So I just type dot O-W-N. And then that will bring up just this specific factory. Because that's the factory I have highlighted there in the green. I left clicked on it. And when I type that in, it'll give me the percent damage that I did. And of course, it shows I hit with all of my eggs. A successful bombing run. Now, we have to turn around and head back for home. Thank you for watching this tutorial on level bombing with the Wellington.